Hi, this is Frank Fortunato with CADEX TV in Princeton. Today is Wednesday, September 7, 2011. In the Northeast United States, Tropical Storm Lee is making itself felt. Heavy inundations of rain are occurring in New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. Already overflowing rivers are expected to become worse. It has had one good effect. It's pushed Hurricane Katya out to sea, and it's now not expected to make landfall anywhere in North America. In New Delhi, India this morning, a powerful bomb in front of the uh, New Delhi courthouse exploded, killing 11 people. An Al-Qaeda link group immediately claimed responsibility. Government officials said it was too early to name a suspect. The blast occurred despite a high terror alert across the city. Heavy gunfire has erupted in Syria. The government is shelling the town of Homs, a hotbed of opposition to President Bashar Assad. In a step that the opposition shows how intractable the regime is, a planned visit today by the Arab League Secretary General was called off at the government's request. Well, the uh, curtain has finally lifted on John Berger's next act, as we reported yesterday. Uh, Third Point Re has been launched in Bermuda. It's capitalized by Third Point founder Daniel Loeb, the hedge fund investor. Uh, Mr. Loeb said that investors in Third Point Re include private equity firms Kelso and Company, Pinebrook Road Partners, as well as Mr. Loeb and uh, Altera Capital Holdings. Also, VJ Dowling in Hartford, Connecticut has been reported to have invested as well. Third Point Re has initial capital of $500 million and the hedge fund aims to raise that another 250 and another 500 million up to a billion dollars total, eventually taking the reinsurer public. Mr. Loeb indicated that the recent increase in uh, premiums is something that attracted him to uh, invest. Last night was the Lloyd's annual dinner. Lloyd Levine, the outgoing chairman, said that UK banks, insurers, and professional services should stop self-imposed flagellation and spur the country back to growth. Mr. Levine said the British economy needs to be on a quest for growth. That quest should begin here in this square mile of banks, insurers, accountants, and all the manifold businesses which together make up the financial services industry. I'm going to miss Lord Levine. He's always somebody that you can count on for uh, a straight answer. The Texas wildfires continue unabated. An area the size of the state of Connecticut has been burned now since December. Um, more than 180 wildfires have erupted in Texas over the past week. They've destroyed more than a thousand homes, according to the Insurance Council of Texas. That will cost the insurance industry more than a hundred million dollars. That figure is only preliminary. Several fires near the state capital of Austin are out of control, even at this point. Endurance, uh, based down in uh, uh, Endurance, the reinsurer based in Bermuda, has promoted Stephen Young, the head of Global Cat Reinsurance. He's replacing Christopher Shaper, who's leaving to take up a uh, post elsewhere. Young is a native Bermudian. He joined uh, Endurance back in 2002. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.